have a Bachelor of Science, so there will be the general studies courses, of course, of chemistry and physics and English and history. But what makes us distinct is all our operational type courses, our technology courses, such as boilers, turbines, diesel engines, automation, industrial electricity, electronics, um, refrigeration, so that an individual can go into any plant and understand the dynamics of that plant. Facilities engineering is geared more to shoreside type applications. Marine is specifically dedicated to an engineering license for a marine engineering officer. The students do all the maintenance on the ship and they also operate the vessel. They, they are the ones that transfer fuel, the start engines are, start equipment up. They have to, the first class students are in charge of the underclass and they run the watch. The engineers that are there are an overseer and are there in case the students get trouble. But our students actually operate the vessel and learn hands on how to operate machinery, how to maintain it, and how to manage people. If that student is someone that he really enjoys working on cars, working with their hands, and wants to work as a manager or um, operator inside a, a facility of any kind, this is the place to go. They get very hands-on training, um, and if they are the ones that like to tear things down and put things back together and don't want to have to sit behind a desk, there's thousands of jobs, well-paying, high-paid jobs out there in this field. The marine engineering technology students are, will sail on an actual vessel and go to foreign ports and act as a cadet aboard those vessels. There's a variety of um, companies, uh, most of the American companies do. This is Polar Tankers, Matson, APL, Horizon, um, um, uh, Corps of Engineers, Army Corps of Engineers, um, NASCO Shipyards, and others. We have an industrial advisory board that meets every year and that the industry will give us feedback to make sure that our students are meeting the requirements for their, um, for their job application. One of the strengths of, the, of our program is that the U.S. Coast Guard dictates with our licensing programs that our students are able to walk on the job and walk on board a vessel and take charge and be a manager and understand all the systems. Students will come back and, and basically thank me and what CM, also CMA and what we've done for them. One of the biggest advantages of CMA is we are dedicated within our department especially that the students get a hands-on knowledge that they will apply in industry and to prepare them for just about any challenges that the industry will give them. Also at CMA, it's a small school, so it's very, very close-knit community. Um, the students have ready access to the instructors. Um, I spend many nights actually coming down. One of the courses I teach is diesel simulation. I will come down if the students ask me and spend uh, time with them to make sure they're successful. One of the big benefits of our program is that the education is so wide that the students can find almost an unlimited number of jobs, whether that is working on a commercial ship or working in a commercial power plant. Most marine engineers typically will work for probably in the past maybe 15-20 years. They get married and have kids and want to move shoreside and it's a very, very easy transition. Because one of the things about a ship is a ship is a city on its own. You have sewage and water pressure and your main propulsion and you generate all your own power, you generate all your own drinking water. The scope of the field that a marine engineer has to be able to handle is so wide that it's very easy to find shoreside. Mm -hmm.